you bring a slingshot with you to, to the games? I or? should. You know, I should put it, put it in my pants. <laughs> Use a puck instead of a rock one. Yeah, I, why not, you know? Well, a little bit about since the draft and everything. Uh, just talk about being here with the Panthers and your, your first experiences with, with the Panthers. Yeah, well, it's it's been a great time for me personally. You know, meeting some new guys is awesome. You know, I knew a few coming in, which is cool, but uh, meeting new guys like me and uh, Johnny Huberto are having fun on Twitter, you know, making fun of each other and stuff. So, you know, that's a good time. And uh, just, you know, meeting new people is always a great thing. And, you know, seeing the facilities for the first time is awesome. You know, I know we're going to go over to the Bank Atlantic Center on uh, Friday, I think. So that's going to be awesome to see that, too. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Have you talked to any of the current Panthers, the David Booths, the Stephen Weiss, any of those guys yet? I haven't, actually. Uh, I want to meet Booths. I know he's a strong Christian like me, too. And I know John Van Biesbeck really well. I went to uh, school with his kids. So uh, he al he's always wanted me to get in touch with him. And I think I actually might next month. I'm probably, or actually in a couple weeks, I'm doing a, a Christian camp in Michigan for a couple days. And I think Booth's going to be there. So I'll get to meet him and maybe have locators and guys like that. So that should be fun. Um, a little bit since since we saw you at the draft, uh, I know you were hoping to be a first round pick, and we talked about going in the second round. Still feeling all right about everything that um, transpired? Totally, totally fine. You know that's you know it's a little adversity that I had to you know face, and that's totally fine with me. That the more pressure's on, I guess uh, the pressure's off now. So um, it's just another adversity that you have to battle through, and now it puts uh, not not as much of a pressure and a challenge on me, but it makes me prove people wrong even more. You know, I was supposed to be a first rounder, now I'm a second rounder, and then. You know, people are doubting me, so I like that. So that makes me prove people wrong even more, and it's it's a lot more fun that way. This development camp, getting to know some of your future teammates, is is that a good little experience meeting everybody and getting to know them? Yeah, yeah, it's been great. You know, especially the older guys. You know, take you know taking the you know, younger guys in and not really giving too much of a hard time. So that's that's good. And you know, everyone's respectful of everyone, and uh, you know, it feels like a brothership already. We've only been here for a couple of days, so that's great to see. What are your future plans? Are you going to be here for the rookie camp, and or are you just going to report to North Dakota? And um, I don't think I can because being a college guy, you can't come to the rookie camp. I don't, I don't okay. believe. But um, you know, so I'll probably just be in North Dakota. So this will be the only camp I'll probably go to this summer. You excited about that? Uh, going with the Sioux? Oh yeah, yeah. Looking forward to that, and you know, it should be a lot of fun. And I have uh, Corbin Knights here, who will be my teammate. So that's good to have him here. And then Lapointe just you know graduated from there. So having a little bit of Nodak blood in the room is cool too.